Hey guys, Kyle here, and today we will be doing a very quick video in the series on setting up your guns and your custom model data so that you can have these cool 3D models. There's going to be downloads to the data pack as well as the resource pack in the description at the end of the video if I did make changes to either of those things during the video. So I'm just going to try and keep that consistent throughout the series just so that if you ever get stuck, you can download the thing in the description and kind of compare where you're at to make sure that you're up to speed. Anyways, so let's get started. This is very simple. So we are going to make a new data pack, uh, a new resource pack. And this is assuming that you probably have another resource pack already in existence. So you can copy the uh, pack.mc meta from it. That's the only thing you really need to copy here. And then we can make all the folders ourselves. So let's name the resource pack. Let's copy and paste our pack.mc meta. I don't want to have to make it.mc meta file. Let's change the description to gun tutorial RP or whatever you want. And then we're going to make a folder called assets. And then we're going to make two namespaces in here. We're going to make Minecraft, which means we're replacing the Minecraft models and assets. And then we're going to make our own called gun. Okay. So then inside this, we are going to go to models. This is going to be models that we're replacing. And we are going to replacing an item model. That is the ender eye. And then inside, uh, we're also going to have the same thing inside of the guns. So we'll copy that models item. And we are also going to have textures for our guns. So we're gonna have textures. Okay, so then inside here, we're going to want to put our ender eye replacement. So let's get the default ender eye by going to our versions and 1.19 and then open it with a archiver. So when you do that, you're going to get all the default assets and we're going to go to models item down to E and we have ender eye here. We're going to, we're going to copy that. And then we're going to back up into our folder here. We are going to paste it. Then we add a new line called overrides. And then this is an array. Okay. So overrides are going to be things that it looks for to change what the model is. So from the default, this is the default and the overrides, there is going to be a predicate and the predicate is going to be custom model data one. And, and then the model that it's going to use is going to be our gun namespace and the model is going to be an item model and it is going to be the ak-47 item model so this is kind of the uh, basic format and if you want to have others you just have to put a comma but right and then put more uh, but it's assumed that the lowest value needs to be at the top of this list and we when we add more later on for other reasons in the series we'll make sure that we discuss what the values have to be all right, so to make 3D models, you can use Cubic Studio or Blockbench. I may or may not have a link, uh, my AK model in the description. I probably will. I'm just uh, going to ask permission after I record. Uh, but if you need to make models, and you probably will need to make more than just one model, I'm not going to give you a bunch of gum models that don't even exist even in my own files. Uh, you'll have to know how to use Blockbench uh which is free or cubic studio, which is paid. Um, there's numerous reasons to use Blockbench, but for some reason I still love cubic studio. So I'll be using it whenever I do have, um, to do 3d model stuff, but just know that you can do the same things on either platform. Uh, I just am not familiar with the Blockbench's UI and I'm not going to familiarize myself with it for this project since we won't be doing 3d modeling. It's not a 3d model tutorial. It's about coding. Uh, but anyways, so if you have a 3D model like so, and you exported it with all the proper view properties, the one thing that you want to export specifically for the view properties is a raised Y translation in the main hand. And we will go over right now why that is important. Uh, so we're going to throw the AK-47 inside our models item folder, and then we are going to open it up and make sure that it links to a texture gun colon AK-47, which is in the textures folder with no subfolders, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to go into the game, take off of our old one and put on our new data pack and hit there, done. All right, so I have the new research pack on and you can see, yeah, it has the gun. So if I do give at P 
ender i custom model data one okay so that will give me this and in first person it is up in the sky which is what i want and i'll explain that in a moment here so basically the reason you want this thing up in the sky is because when you right click in ender eye you can see it like it bobs and that's really bad especially for animation uh so what you do is you give negative attack speed so the item never raises to its apex and is always down as if you're just pulling it out like that you see how i'm pulling it out uh, so you just keep it down so to do that you go to mc stacker just like this you go to the give generator you type in whatever item you want it doesn't matter you go to modifier you go add attribute modifier then you go to attack speed you go to slots when it's in your main hand and you make it negative a million so what this means is that you will not be able to attack with this thing or at least you will attack very slowly with it uh, i can do stick that's okay so we will go attack speed and main hand okay so it gives you the mbt up here to use so we can like copy this command and you can see that uh, it always stays down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our .minecraft, our saves, and then go into the gun tutorial. And then we are going to go into the get function. And I already have it pulled up here, but essentially what we're going to do is we are going to, I can just, I'll just delete all this. Let me just delete all this. Okay, so this is like it. This is the way that it was in the previous video. So then we're just going to grab all this and we're going to put it inside of our tag here. And that will make it stay down. Then we're also going to add custom model data of one so that it just looks like an AK. And that is pretty much all we need. So if we type slash reload, okay, then we do gun get. There you go. So now it is shifted upwards, even though it is actually down and you can see the sword is completely empty because my attack speed is bad it is negative a million and it stays down when i right click it so that's it for this tutorial guys just adding custom model data but it was important to do it early uh, so that in a later video such as the next video with scoping or iron sights we're going to be able to mess with these models to make it look very convincing or more interesting anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace